hi so my first impression for this book was that it follows a typical David Weisner style that we know which is a couple of sentences here and there throughout the books but it's mostly very detailed illustrations um, during the first few pages you can see how the frogs progress from their confusion as to why they're able to suddenly fly to them embracing their new flying nature even racing with birds and even one of the neighborhood dogs however once the sun starts to rise the frogs are no longer able to fly so this leaves the police officers and investigators very baffled the next morning as to why there are so many lily pads on the streets and on the lawns um, but as the readers were not really given an explanation as to why, the only thing we are given is that the following Tuesday around the same time, pigs are suddenly able to fly. So this leaves the reader with the question, do different animals fly every Tuesday? Does this happen the exact same time? And it's just a, it's a really big cliffhanger and want, leaves the reader wanting more. My first impression of Wisner's Tuesday was one of confusion. As the story progressed, the comical nature became apparent with the surprising actions of the flying frogs and the reactions of those around them. The surreal art and wordless narrative created an entertaining sequence of events. The only clues on the occurrence are provided by the author, but then the front flaps of the dust jacket and the timestamps throughout the story. By the end, I found the narrative to have a circular structure, as on the following Tuesday, strange events happen again, only this time it's flying pigs. The readers are pulled into the experience with puzzlement and wonderment as they witness the frogs on their magic carpet-like lily pads. The opening page shows a time lapse of the frogs beginning to float on their lily pads. The confusion on their face allows readers to note that even the frogs are surprised to be floating. The story begins with the day of the week and the time the, myst the mystery of the frogs began, which is Tuesday around 8 p.m. Throughout the story, readers are able to see the adventure the frogs take on as they begin to float. They go through the neighborhoods and float all night long. It isn't until the sun begins to rise when the frogs can no longer float. Their lily pads and leaves begin to fall and drop the frogs. As the frogs return home, readers can see the frustration of one frog that appears to be mad that they can no longer float. But as detectives attempt to uncover the mysterious lily pads, the story jumps onto the following Tuesday around 8pm. It starts from the beginning, but instead of frogs floating, it is pigs. The story included many illustrations and a lack of words, which gave me a sense of confusion, but as I read through the book, I was able to conclude that maybe the book wasn't meant to be understood. The beginning starts off with only a few words. The images shows frogs floating through the sky, and it takes you through a peek at two humans and a dog's Tuesday night as frogs interact with them. The next morning, everybody is puzzled by the lily pads um, all over the ground caused by the frogs flying through the air. It is a repetitive cycle because then we see a peak of next Tuesday and pigs are flying through the air. This is supposed to show that something magical like this happens every Tuesday. They open and close the same way but with different animals. I was confused by my first glance because of the lack of words. It makes it seem like there's no real storyline at first.